Today's at home workout with your qualified trainer Lucy Winnerid is a fat burning standing abs cardio workout. It's also a seven day challenge, so I want you to do this for the next seven days because you're going to love the results. So, how it's going to work, I'm going to include your warm up, your workout, and your cool down. So, all you need to do is just do this for the next seven days. Trust me, you are going to love how you feel. So, if you're ready, let's get started. So part one is simply your warm up. We'll do this for just over a minute. So just follow along. We're gonna start with doing eight of these toe taps. And this part, first part is just about mobilizing your body, just getting it ready for the workout ahead. Now just give me these eight toe taps. You're just tapping that foot behind. Keep those core tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. And then from there now, just give me these heel digs with elbow bends. Again, we're just doing eight of these and this is just about mobilizing your joints and now give me these knee lifts with arm pulls for eight and this also is just going to help to increase your core body temperature and now we're going to do eight of these side step taps so now we're just working laterally and taking that across now just give me a side step with this single arm circle just so we're really increasing your core body temperature just getting ready for the workout ahead all right well done it's your warm-up done so for part two we're now going to focus on the workout here's a preview of the first move we're doing two of these knee lifts and two straight leg lifts and just repeating so let's get ready come into position let's start take the arms up two leg lifts and now take it two knee drives. So we're just gonna keep that going for a duration of 50 seconds. The timer bar on the right represents the 50 seconds on there. So with this move, what we're doing here is we're working through the long abdominal muscles at the front, plus we're also then working cardio. So this is gonna get your heart rate up. It's also really good for working through your arms and your legs, plus we're really working through the waist as well. So we're well over halfway on this first move. Really focus on keeping those core muscles pulled in tight as you lift that leg. That's good, keeping that going. So this one is gonna get the heart rate up driving that knee up last little bit you can see we've nearly finished on this first move let's just keep that going and feel that working through your abs right next move let's have a little look so this is a really fun one let's just imagine we're playing tennis we're going to do four of these tennis hits and then we go for doing four power punches so let's get ready come into position and give me four of those tennis moves four and take it three go two and one, now hold it here and power punches for four and then repeat. So really feel the power coming through your waist as you do that move and then also keep the hips nice and still as you go for those power punches. So just keep repeating again the timer bar there representing your 50 seconds and really focus on putting power behind each punch and just remember why you are here with me right now what we're doing is we're investing in your future health this is about getting you really fit and strong all right keeping that going just keep focus put 100 percent effort in each of these moves so we've nearly finished on this one that's good and well done. All right, so for the next move, we're gonna just now work on the opposite side. So it's same moves. We're going for four of those tennis hits and then four power punches. So let's get ready. And obviously again, 50 seconds. So keep that focused and really feel that working through the waist. And then again, really put some power through those punches, keep the hips still and drive that over, work that through your fullest range of motion, keeping that going. So what I've done, right at the end of the video I've done you a little seven day tick chart so at the end you can press pause take a screenshot of it and then you can just do this for the next seven days I promise you're going to love the results all right that's good and remember these are safe moves we're using body weight we're not doing any high impact so you can repeat this and I suggest you do this every morning all right that's good let's just keep that going driving that across and get ready to give me those power punches again and well done all right preview of the next move so this one you have your arms in front we do four knee drives and then we do 10 heels up and rolling arms all right so what we'll do let's start with taking one foot behind 
both arms are up in front. Now drive that knee up, four, let's go three, take it two and one. Now heels up for 10 counts and rolling arms. So it's just the heels that's coming off the ground, opposite leg behind four, let's go three, take it two and one. And then 10 of these heel drives up. So this is still low impact. Knee drive for three, let's go two and one. Because when you do this, see how you're always keeping one foot on the floor, which means then it's still low impact. Drive that knee in, really feel that working through those abdominals. We're working your core stability there. This part is then cardio. Let's keep that going. And really keep those tummy muscles tight. So we're really working deep through those abdominals. Heels come up, arms up nice and high. Drive that knee up and one. All right, well done. Next move coming up, this time now, we're gonna do four of these knee twists. So you're twisting in towards the knee and then we're gonna extend both arms out straight and do four rotations. So arms up, take the opposite elbow to knee, feel that in the waist, three, go two and one. Extend both arms out straight, take it to one side, then to the other, two and one. Arms up, opposite elbow to knee, four, go three, two and one supporting these bent arms out in front go four take it three two and one arms up knee over so here as your qualified trainer i've designed this workout so what we're doing which is really unique i'm getting your heart rate up so we're doing a calorie burning fat burning workout but at the same time the cardio moves that i'm doing are going to really sculpt tone and strengthen through your abdominals we're also working stability as well so let's just keep that going and nearly finished on that one. Right, so the next move, we're gonna take double arms where you're just drawing them across and then we're taking the arms up. So you're doing the double arms across for eight and then we're taking the arms up for four. So let's tap that foot behind at the same time. You'll get used to the move the more you do the workout and then we're gonna take it reach up for four. So it's sets of eight and then again, taking those arms up. So the idea here with this move, again, it's a really good cardio one, so it's gonna work your heart health as well as shaping and sculpting through the waist. And we're well over halfway on this one. And if you want to make it a bit harder, you can bend a little deeper. And just imagine on here as if perhaps you're on a paddle board, so you're having to really control that through the core, then reach those arms up. Keep a nice bend through the legs and going from one side to the other. And again, really feel that working through your waist. All right, well done. Let's have a look at your next move coming up. This time we're gonna have both arms extended up. We're gonna go for four straight leg kicks and then four of these waist bends. So let's get ready. Take both arms up, tummies pulled in tight. Kick that four, let's go three, two, and one. Now reach from one side, center, three, center, two, and then one, extend arms back up. So here what we're doing, we're working your core muscles for stability, and then we're shaping through the waist as we reach from one side to the other. And again, we're keeping that heart rate raised, so we're getting fit and strong. So this workout is ticking all boxes. Not only are we helping to reduce excess belly fat, we're toning and strengthening through those abdominals. We're increasing your balance, your flexibility. It's great for your mental health as well as your physical health. And then taking those arms up. And it's really important to remember we actually all need a certain amount of belly fat. So this is about health. It's not about looking a certain way. All right, next move coming up. This one you start in a star position and we go four of these heel taps and then we're gonna hold and do four of these reaches from one side to the other. So let's get ready, stand nice and wide, take one hand towards the opposite foot, two and one. Now hold it here and then reach as if you're trying to touch either side, end of the room and then work the opposite side, three, let's go two, and one and then again reach across so here with these moves i've specifically designed for you these are really going to work through those abdominals and the wider you stand with this one the more challenging that is and really reach as far across keeping that going so we're well over halfway on this move 
and reach from one side to the other. Keep those core muscles engaged for, let's go three, take it two and one and reach out across, three, two and one. All right, nearly done on this one. Keep that going. All right, so let's have a look at your next move coming up. So for this one, we're gonna have arms extended up and you're gonna take the knee up but over as well. And then we're doing four of these step backs and just pulling the arms down. So let's get ready, take both arms up for me, drive the knee up and over, three, let's go two and one, and then the arms, four, take it three, two, one. So keep going, sets of four. So do come and let me know on social media. I'd love to know if you've done this for seven days, how amazing you feel. And do come and tag me. You can find me on Instagram at Lucy Wyndham Reed. Facebook, there is a group. There's also a page, Lucy Squad, and then even on TikTok as well. All right, that's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. So we're well over halfway on this one. And again, a really lovely cardio move. Feel that through the abs, through your waist. We're getting that heart rate up. Nearly done on this move. And well done. All right, so next move coming up, we're gonna have some fun with this one. We're gonna walk forwards and then do a knee drive. And we're doing then four of these high fives. So reach forwards and do that knee drive. So let's get ready, three, two, one. Walk it forwards, drive that knee up, step it back, drive that knee up. Three, and let's go four. Now hold it here, high five for four, and then repeat four. Let's go three, take it two and one, then go for that high five, four, three, two and one, keeping that going, that's good. So again, this one is really gonna get your heart rate up and you are getting fitter, you are getting stronger. This is also so good for your mental health as well. Keeping that going, put power behind each of those moves and really add that twist. And as your qualified trainer, I think that's so important to always make sure any YouTube videos, always check your trainer is qualified. I've been doing this for over 25 years and I'm all about giving you safe, effective workouts. All right, that's good. And let's keep that going. And next move coming up. So this is the last one of the part of the workout. This one, we're doing a little sequence. So we do two of these side reaches, two twists and then two punches. You'll get it, so just follow along. Knees are bent, we stay in this stance and now reach from one side, center to the other. Arms up, twist that, twist it, then punch it up. And let's repeat, so we go from one side to the other. Arms up, twist, twist and punch and punch. Now take it to the side, side, arms up, twist and twist then reach up that's good so keeping that going so this one here is a really lovely core cardio move and then we're going to bring the intensity down we're going to then work on lengthening in your muscles and stretching as part of the cool down that's good doing really well and arms up and you will feel every time you do this that your core has got stronger and by day seven you will notice such a difference. That's good. And that is part two complete. Okay, so let's do part three, the lengthen and stretch. So just follow along, we're gonna tap one foot back. So just keep going. What I'm gonna do is some light cardio. We're gonna get that heart rate back down to that pre-exercise state and we're gonna stretch the muscles as well. So keep one foot behind and now slightly lean in, hands are on that bent leg and we're just lengthening and stretching through the calf muscle known as gastrocnemius. Lean into that. And now let's just tap that back again, just alternating from one side to the other, getting that heart rate back down. And just hold that leg there. Again, make sure both feet are pointing forwards, lean into the stretch. And the point of these stretches is it really helps to realign your body. It also means we're going to prevent any injuries as well. And just give me those heel taps in front. So this now, we're just going to be stretching through your hamstring. If you want to stretch for longer, you can always press pause. Hands are on the bent leg and just feel that through the back of the upper thigh. Make sure you know what leg you're stretching. So if you're stretching your left leg, remember it's your left one and toes pointed up, all will become apparent because now what I'm gonna get you to do is to then hold the stretch on the opposite leg 
I made a mistake here and stretched the same leg. So just make sure you're doing the opposite leg. Toes come up, again, feel that through your hamstring. Um, there we are, see, I make, I make mistakes. And now let's feel that through the quadriceps, supporting leg is slightly bent and just feel that through the front of the thigh. Let's take that now to the opposite leg and just really feel that running down the front of the thigh. And now let's just stretch through the top of the upper back. Just feel that there, arms in front, chin slightly lowered. And now take the arms behind, feel that through the front of the chest, give me those little toe taps. And remember, just seven days you can do this. Arm up, feel that through the back of the upper arm. And then let's now take that to the opposite arm. And that is your workout complete. So well done, there is your high five. And just remember what you and I have just done is we've just invested in your future health. So I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow. So why not press pause now, take a screenshot of this and you can print it off, stick it on the wall. Then every time you do this workout, you can tick it off. Just seven days and you'll love the results.